Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This video on DC machines uh, will briefly talk about the DC machines and then we'll try to explain solve example number 7.1 and we'll also solve practice problem 7.1. Now I'm sure you, you have some idea already. Now this is the outer part in which the uh, rotor this is rotor this is called a stator and this rotor moves inside the stator to make a complete motor or generator the stator has what is called field winding so these are the windings you can see so this is field winding and the rotor also has windings along with this part which is called commutator but this is also called armature or arm this has armature winding now the field winding is connected to some external source and this magnetizes and the rotor is also connected to some external source and this also magnetizes and the reaction of the two makes uh, the motor action and if this is not uh, connected to a uh, DC supply but this is rotated by some means like water or wind or air then this will start generating the electricity and the electricity comes out of these terminals so this becomes generators. Now how do we supply to a rotating thing? So for this there is what, what is called brush. So th these are the brush, carbon brush actually. These are attached. You can see this is spring. It forces uh, to be in touch with this commutator. So and then we supply the two terminals with positive and negative DC. So that is how the DC supply is given to the rotating part. This is commutator and this is brush. Now in the form of a, a diagram, the field winding is shown like this and the armature winding is all shown like this. So this is this round thing with two carbon brushes is the armature. Now there could be several uh, arrangements. The first of all, let's see the first one, this is called separate excitation that means the field winding is connected to a different source and the armature winding is connected to a different source. Now the second option could be a series connection or series field connection. So same supply is giving supply to the series field and then it is giving supply to the rotor. So this is series connection. There could be a shunt connection also that the supply is supplying to the rotor as well as it also supplying to the shunt field or the field winding through some kind of a control mechanism or real state. And the fourth could be the compound which is series and shunt both. So now this is the shunt terminal and this is this like this the series terminal. So it is actually series plus shunt or compound. So let's go to the example 7.1 that has been solved in the book. We will try to understand the characteristics of the DC machine is given as 25 kilowatt, 125 volt. So first of all, we don't know whether it is a generator or a motor. It is just called DC machine and this is the rated power and its speed is 3000 revolutions per minute. The open circuit armature voltage is 124, uh, 25 volt and the terminal voltage, so this is the armature voltage here, EB, this is 125 volt and the terminal voltage here we have to uh, use 128 volt at one time and 124 volt at the other time to determine the armature current terminal power, electromagnetic power and torque. 
And just for your information, I have uh, reproduced uh, the power uh, um, terms here. If the armature power is called PA and the rated power is called P, then in case of a generator, the armature power is rated power divided by efficiency of the machine. So for example, if the rated power is 5 kilowatt and efficiency is 0 0.87, then the machine or the armature has to develop a 5 kilowatt divided by 0 0.87, that is 5.75 kilowatts. So armature has to develop more power uh, so that we get the 5 kilowatt at the terminal output here. And uh, in case of a motor, generally it is the armature power uh, is taken as same as the rated power or the input power uh, because we can neglect the uh, losses. But if losses are present, then we have to take into consideration for that. Uh, and the input power has to be more than the uh, armature power. Okay, now, uh, so this is the voltage EA 125 given. The resistance of the armature is 0 0.02 and in the first case we are taking the terminal voltage to be 128. Now, since the terminal voltage VT is greater than the generated uh, back EMF voltage EA, the system is acting as a motor. So, since this is more and this is less, that means it is feeding to the system and that is the case of a motor uh, we supply uh, with the supply and the motor uh, rotates. So the formula will be uh, Vt, the terminal voltage is equal to Ea, this voltage here, the back EMF or the uh, back voltage and plus the losses in the armature terminal. So the armature resistance has been shown separately. So this is the equation that we follow for motor. Now this equation is for general equation, plus minus sign, so plus is taken for motor and minus is taken for generator. Okay, now the armature current from here we can find Vt is 128, Ea is 125, therefore armature current will be from here Vt minus Ea divided by Ra. So plugging in the values, we get the armature current to be 150 ampere and it is in the direction of the motor. So the armature current is going like this. Then the terminal power. The terminal power is the power here, power being supplied. So it is Vt into Ia, the current that is flowing through this. So 128 is Vt and the current we have found to be 150 ampere. So the terminal voltage is, uh, uh, sorry, terminal power is 19.2 kilowatt. Then the electromagnetic power or the power generated by the machine, uh, this is also called the mechanical developed power and this is given by the uh, back EMF voltage Ea multiplied by the current. So this is 125 multiplied by 150. So 18.75 kilowatt is the mechanical power developed. And then torque. Torque is, uh, we can calculate from uh, this thing. The mechanical power is the voltage times current and it is equal to the torque times the mechanical speed. And so from here we can find the torque. So torque will be Ea Ia divided by omega m, the angular speed. Plugging in the values, now angular velocity we have to find out, or the angular speed. We know it is 2 pi f and f has to be revolution per second. In our case, it is given in revolution per minute. So we divide by 63,000. 
divided by 60 would be revolutions per second and so from here omega m or the angular velocity is 100 f so we plug in that here so e a we had find out 18.75 so we plug in that so plugging in both the values the torque comes to be 57 59.7 Newton meter. So this was the uh, the first voltage. Now we take case number two when the terminal voltage is 124 volt instead of 128 volt. So obviously this is generating more voltage than the terminal voltage. Therefore this is now a generator. So the terminal voltage Vt is less than the generated back EMF. E so the system is acting as a generator and this is the generator equation from here we now take the minus sign and again plugging in the values now in this case the current is 50 ampere and the terminal power again is Vt into I so the terminal power is 124 this one multiplied by 50 ampere so 6.2 kilowatt then the electromagnetic uh, power is the power generated here so it is ea into the uh, current so 125 multiplied by current 50 so 6.25 kilowatt and torque as we calculated same way the torque is now 19.9 uh, .9. so this power ea multiplied by omega m that we calculated in the previous slide okay let's solve the practice problem now the speed here is uh, now reduced to 2950 from the previous example it was 3000 rpm and the field current is same no change the terminal voltage here is 125 volt so we have to find terminal current terminal power electromagnetic power and we have to find if the it is the machine is acting as a motor or a generator so we can use this relation uh, from uh, uh, um, equation 7.8 from the book this is basically uh, the relation between terminal uh, generated voltage or armature voltage and speed so uh, you can see that armature voltage the new armature voltage is equal to the new speed divided by the old speed and multiplied by the old armature voltage so let's see so the new armature voltage is a new speed so new speed is 2950 and from example 7.1 we had the old speed 3000 and the old armature voltage 125 so from here we calculate the new armature voltage to be 122.9 volt 92 volt now this is our circuit terminal voltage 125 volt and the uh, armature voltage is 122.92 now since terminal voltage is more that means we are supplying or this is supplying uh, to the motor that, that uh, to the machine therefore this is a motor so we'll use the motor equation to calculate the terminal current or the armature current ia so from here ia is vt minus ea divided by ra so use that the terminal current vt minus ea divided by ra plugging in the values we get the terminal current or the armature current to be 104 amperes the same current then the terminal power will be terminal voltage multiplied by terminal current so 125 multiplied by 104 13 kilowatts 
and the electromagnetic power or the mechanical power is the uh, armature voltage multiplied by the current so 122.92 multiplied by 104 so this is the mechanical power or electromagnetic power 12.78 kilowatt and the final question is it a motor or acting as a generator so we have already discussed that since vt is more than the armature voltage therefore it is acting as a motor so i hope this gives you an understanding uh, of the basics of uh, dc um, separately excited motors thank you